In the last 15 days, I was able to get funded $150,000 from Top Step and more importantly, get my first payout of $1,000. It cost me a couple hundred dollars to start the challenge, get the account, but I have a 5x return on my investment so far. More importantly, I still have an account I can use to trade and pay myself for as long as possible. So inside this video, I want to tell you exactly everything you need to know from going from getting the account to getting your payout and as well the dark side of funded accounts, which I'm not a huge fan of and it cost me thousands of dollars and I made a lot of mistakes that I want to talk about inside. Let's go and I'll show you first my evaluation account. So the way it works is you pay 50, 100, 150 bucks to get into an evaluation account. All you have to do is hit your objectives and do not break your one rule. So Top Step is known as the one rule, one step platform now. And they, you can sign up with the link below for 50 bucks off. But all I needed to do with this account was hit $9,000. And it's, the reason why this is so crazy is because I was hitting $5,000 days trading this account. So $9,000 profit is not hard at all. So if you hit 9,000, that's all you have to do really, maintain a little bit of consistency, and then you'll get that funded account the next day. So the other objective, which they recently switched, it was a 30% consistency objective. Now it's 50%, meaning you could trade two days and get funded, which is wild. All you have to do is just not break one rule, which is do not hit your max drawdown, which is $4,500. So here's what happened. Here's my journey. It's kind of laughable. The first day, first day I get the account, I hit the $3,000, which is the limit that takes you out for the day, which is nice because you know you don't lose the account, you can keep trading the next day. It's gonna give you a little bit of wiggle room to your max loss. So if I'm out of $3,000 for the loss, I don't lose the account, the next day I can trade again, which is good because I had a better day the next day. I went and made, instead of down 3,000, I'm magically up 2,500 with a $5,000 trading day. Not bad for a funded account. So am I consistent? Yes, look at the next couple days. Another 4,400 day and another, at this point, that was uh, about 4,000 again. So about 3,000. So I've had a, a 5K day, a 4K day, and a 3K day. The problem was a little bit of miscommunication, but I didn't know if I got funded or not. I didn't know if they were going to pass me because one of my days was very profitable. So that was confusing. I didn't know if they were going to get me through to the, the real account. So I ended up trading an extra day just to get that full 50%, under 50% consistency target. So I trade another day with another $2,000 gain. So I ended up going from at the bottom of the account one one four seven to all the way up to one six one so it's like a fourteen thousand dollar five day stretch and so the reason this is important is because i could have just had two days and got the account but i took a little bit longer so you can for 15 days for me to do this and get the payout i mean you could do it in half the time if it's done well so I had a couple bad days even on the live account, one bad day on the evaluation account, but more importantly, very consistent, crushed it, was smarter after that first bad day, and then that's how they passed me. So I passed the account. What they do is they unlock you your $150,000. So I got that unlocked, and what, the, what I did the first day is insane. And then it was a downhill struggle from there, crap show and I do want to just really be transparent about that so I'm a good trader but I will make more mistakes on this funded accounts because it's a different game you're playing so the first day was just a great day trading and hit seven thousand dollars profit like insane 7k day best day in the funded accounts by far across all of them 
And that could have been a lot more. I could have hit 10, 15, maybe even 20 if I maximized the move, put on more position. But I thought 7K was fine. My number one goal of this is just to show everybody on YouTube that it's possible to get funded and get paid. I have not been able to get a payout, so I didn't care what this amount was. I could have had a $3,000 day, a $4,000 day, or even a $1,000 day. I just want to get a payout to say I got a payout. This is legit. Check this out, everybody. So that's what I did. So I, again, I wasn't shooting for the moon. I wasn't trying to hit you know, gains to pay my lifestyle and pay off my, my all this stuff in my life. I just wanted to get one simple payout. So that explains kind of what happens over the next couple of days. So pretty much just massive losses back to back. But my only goal is to hit objective number one, which is five winning $200 days. And I cannot tell you the mental struggle of hitting a $200 win when you don't want to trade, when you don't need to trade, when you're just trying to jump through the hoops to get a payout. So I love these prop, some prop firms, Top Step's my favorite, but I just don't like the differences between if it was my money and if it's their money. Because if it's my money, I make $7,000, I keep the whole thing, I take it out, I can pay myself the next day. If it's their money, it's a little bit of a struggle to get out that money. More importantly, like you can only take out half of your earnings in the account. So the first, I think, five winnings, if you hit 30 winning days, you can take out the full 100%, but that is another difference, you know, another hoop to jump through. So. I, once I hit $7,000, I just wanted to coast. And then I kept waking up just right when the market opened and trading. And that was probably one huge mistake because I just started trading at the open, took the first candle, just tried to hit $200. And then some days I hit it, like the very first day went from 729229 to 7441 for a clean $212 profit. So first day after that profitable then the next day, a $3,000 loss. Because again, I took the opening candle. It was actually down $1,000 instantly. I'm stuck in the markets now wondering if I should just scratch the whole day or try to make it back to hit my $200 gain or put on more positions. So a lot of things going through my head. You know, Typically, I wouldn't have traded that open. I wouldn't have traded at all. This is after hours, so it's not really a time I would trade ever because I usually trade options. So that was basically $3,000 I blew just from trading when I didn't want to. Next day, hit a $200 gain. Next day, $3,000 loss again. And the next day, 200 bucks. Next day, 200 bucks. I mean, it was so much harder than I thought it was gonna be when you need to hit a $200 gain. It doesn't matter how many contracts I could put on, just that that forced trade kind of throws you off your rhythm and makes you do things you wouldn't do. So the chart looks terrible. I got to pay out because I can take out half now, half of this $2,000. And basically my drawdown now will be $1,000. So I can't let the account go below zero. I can't lose $1,000 or else, or else I lose the account. But if I stay above that, I can keep getting payouts every five trading days of $200 profits and just keep making money with this account. So it's an account that just consistent payouts, hopefully. So I'm hoping just to trade this account super conservatively, not hit big wins. I'm gonna use a different account for more aggressive trading, more streaming, more content I'm gonna be posting. Um, But this one, I'm just gonna try to save this account for like a money printing machine maybe because it's basically free. They don't have monthly fees when you're funded. You just have the account and get to keep the account. So again, there was just some struggle. I didn't want to trade, but I had to. And you could see the, the problems with that. You know, it just creates some inconsistency. So the real truth behind this is if you want to be successful in the prop firm, you have to 
play by their rules and not let it affect you emotionally. So, you know, if you feel like you have to trade, you know, don't trade. If you could just be patient, you know, hit your five winning days whenever they come, you know, just do whatever you'd normally do in the markets, that would be a better route. But I was trying to speed run this. I was trying to get my payout and just show everyone how it's possible. But for everyone out there that is trying to be funded and have this be their full-time income opportunity, it's possible. But make sure you're not forcing yourself to jump through their hoops. Make sure their hoops line up with your plan, your strategy, your trade for the day. Because if you can't be consistent with your trading, you know, you can't be consistent with these payouts and then these funded accounts are just going to be, you know, another thing you're dumping money into every single month. So hopefully this journey has helped you guys understand what's possible, what's happening and what I've been doing in this account. And I will stream more. I will show you how everything's working and give you more updates in the future. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't miss out the top step link for $50 off is in my description if you want it and watch the video to the right of me that shows you the whole route of how I got that first evaluation account through to the funded level. Peace out. Have a good week.